Hi, everyone, and welcome. It's a little bit past time, so I guess we should get started here. Um, we see a lot of new faces here, which is really great tonight. Um, for those of you who are new, uh, my name is Barbara Sanchez. I'm an attorney with Lori Sager Seymour Peace. I have, um, my practice is primarily commercial real estate. I do a lot of economic development as well. Um, I'm not originally from the Akron area. I came to Akron to go to law school and love being here, love the people. My husband uh, spent over 20 years in the Air Force, and I was an Air Force spouse for almost all of those years, I guess. And then uh, when he retired, we decided to uh, settle here with us as children. And so we've made our East Ohio home ever since. So it's been a few years now. I um, want to welcome you again. Thank you for coming, especially tonight in this beautiful weather. Last time it was terrible weather, but um, thank you for coming. I uh, want to thank the library, of course, for hosting us and the uh, city for their support. I think we're supposed to be here tonight, not here yet, um, and all of the Neighborhood Association, all of you for coming. Thanks again, everybody, for coming. Uh, my name is Joe Albrecht. I'm the manager of retail properties with Albrecht Incorporated. I'm responsible for leasing, uh, retail development, and property management. Uh, before I joined Albrecht Incorporated, I was uh, at Miami University. I got my degree in computer science and then a minor in German. Um, after school, I served the U.S. Peace Corps for two years as a teacher. And then when I was done with that, I uh, came back to Akron and started working been at it for about five years, and it's been, it's been a great ride. I've enjoyed being part of this Highland Square discussion, and I look forward to continuing that tonight. Hello, welcome everyone. So excited to see so many new faces, and really interested to hear what everyone has to say, what the ideas are that we generate tonight. Uh, I'm Katie Albrecht. I'm an attorney with Ford Sager Seymour, and I also practice in the commercial real estate group. A little bit of my background. I grew up here, went to college in Virginia. Then I did teach for America in South Texas and worked for Greenpeace in Washington, D.C. Then came back to law school and now I'm practicing in the real estate business at Starbucks. So we're excited to have you all here tonight. This forum is, is in the context of a larger dialogue. So I'm going to try to kind of contextualize it for a minute here and give some background about the past forums some of the details. So those of you who've been involved throughout um, bear with me. <laughs> um, this project started a while ago and the North Side development is the result of of the Albrecht Incorporated development. So we have new retail, new parking, a beautiful new library. Um, and the the past forum, some of the big issues that have come out are the questions about the grocery store. And we understand, everybody understands, the city understands, all of our incorporated understands, the community understands that a grocery store is very important to the people in Highland Square and to others. The problem that all of our incorporated has encountered is that there is no grocery operator at the current time who's willing to make the financial investment in a grocery store in Highland Square. So that's, that's the point we're at now. Um, that doesn't mean that we're not hopeful that there's a solution. And some of the ideas that have been generated are co-ops and private-public partnerships. So there's a lot of room for discussion. Um, but that is kind of a, a short summary of the major points that have come out of the past forums. So. <laughs> um, and because there's so many new faces here, I guess I wonder, we'd like to, if, if you have questions, specifically about the grocery store, we'd like to answer those, but also we'd like to um, include it as part of a larger discussion about what your vision is for Highland Square, generally speaking. I mean, it's part of the surveys we've gotten, and we'll distribute surveys again tonight. Um, we've come to understand, and, and well, I guess confirmed what we already understood, that small businesses are very important in Highland Square, walkability is very important in Highland Square. So there are definitely other issues out there that are important to people in addition to or besides the grocery, depending on who you talk to. Um, so I guess we'd like to hear from you as to, you know, if you have questions about the grocery in particular, or if you have questions about the larger vision for Highland Square, we'd like to hear your, your input and if you have questions. It's a quiet group tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I we had all time tonight. <laughs> This, 
At different times of the day, too, they run an hour apart later after five o'clock or so. They start really spreading out. And you'd have to stand out in the, out in the snow. You know, a lot of times the sidewalks aren't really well done in different places. And That's true. You probably walk in on the sidewalks to get to this grocery store. That's, yeah. Right, but you don't have to stand outside and wait for, for a bus that might be caught in traffic on a bit. You know. well, that is a city issue, but if you look at Cotton Falls, they have a pretty nice uh, bus shelter uh, along state roads. So. I've always wondered why we don't have some nice ones, especially here in the square area, that it would on our winter December's heaven. January, February's morning. <laughs> uh, you know, that's really a metro decision. To right. Put the, put the, <laughs> I don't know that I put that on these guys. Yeah, but um, <laughs> I do know that there was a lot of, I mean, this is like, I don't know how many people around, but when they built those heated shelters downtown, you remember the ones that were kind of like, um, Concrete, yeah. like bunkers, kind of thing. Everybody thought that was a brilliant idea, but the, recently the people who were in those hated them. They said it was, you know, crime ridden, a lot of graffiti, and a lot of people just hanging out there making problems. But I'm sure there's got to be some better solution that, you know. It doesn't necessarily have to be heated, but at least just the wind breaks. So yeah. It'll just, uh, so. 